Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. I'm Advika. Today I came with a new chapter for the subject science, which will be very helpful to our studies. Today, let us in this video cover the topic pollination. This is science ICS syllabus grade 5 chapter 4 pollination. Today let us learn pollination, bisexual flowers, monoxual flowers, self-pollination, cross-pollination, parts of flowers. Let's start and learn. Which is the most attractive part of a plant? Flowers are the most attractive parts of plant. They grow from small buds present on the stem and branches. Different plants bear different kinds of flowers that vary in shape, size and color. Many flowers also have a fragrance. A flower is the reproductive part of the plant. Flower helps to produce new plant. What are the different parts of a plant? A flower consists of four parts. Calyx, corolla, andresium, genesium. These four parts form the walls of a flower. The stalk of a flower is called pedicle. The swollen portion at the base of the flower is known as the thalamus. It is the part of the flower to which all the floral parts are attached together. Here you can see the image of calyx, corolla, genesium, and rhesium. And all in one. Calyx. Calyx is the outermost wall of a flower. It contains green leaf-like structures known as sepals. A flower consists of four to five sepals. The sepals protect the bud and prepare food for the plant. Corolla. Corolla is the second wall of a flower. It contains a ring of brightly colored modified leaves known as petals. Petals are the most attractive part of a flower. Petals can be of various shapes, size, may have a fragrance. They attract variety of insects. Andrusium. Andrusium is the third wall of a flower. Andresium is a collection of stamens. The stamen is the male reproductive part of a flower. Each stamen consists of a filament and a anther. The filament is a long narrow stalk on which the anther is present. The anther is below bed structure that produces the and contains pollen grains. Pollen grains contain male reproductive cells. Genosium. Genosium is the fourth wall of a flower. It is the female reproductive part of a flower. Genosium is the collection of pistils. Each pistil is composed of stigma. Stigma is the upper tip of the pistil. What are bisexual flowers? A flower that has both the male and female reproductive parts is called bisexual flowers. As they have all the parts of a flower, they are also called complete flowers. Sweet pea, china rose, tulip, sunflower and rose are some examples of bisexual flowers. What are monosexual flowers? A flower which has either the male or the female reproductive part of a flower is called monosexual flowers. 
since they lack one of the reproductive parts, they are also called incomplete flowers. Flowers of cucumber, papaya, mulberry and pumpkin are some examples of monosexual flowers. How do flowers help in reproduction? Pollination Pollination is the process in which pollen grains from the anthers are transferred to the stigma of either the same flower or another flower of the same type. To carry out pollination, some external agents are required for transferring the pollen grains from an, one flower to another. These are natural agents such as birds, insects, animals, wind and water. They are called agents of pollination. To attract these agents, the flowers may be brightly colored and have a fragrance. Process of pollination. Flowers from seeds and fruits after the process of pollination and fertilization. The male reproductive cells need to reach the female reproductive cells for reproduction to take place. When butterflies and bees collect nectar, the pollen grains stick to their bodies. When these insects collect nectar from some other flower of the same kind, some of the pollen grains are transferred onto the stigma and as a result, pollination occurs. Self-pollination There are two types of pollination. Self-pollination and cross-pollination. First, let us learn self-pollination. When the pollen grains from the anther get transferred to the stigma of the same flower, it is called self-pollination. It occurs only on the sexual flowers. Usually, an external agent is not required for this type of pollination. Cross-pollination When the pollen grains from the anther of one flower get transferred to the stigma of another flower of the same plant or another plant of same kind, it is called cross-pollination. It can take place in both bisexual and monosexual flowers. For cross-pollination to take place, external agents require like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel.